Limits and the idea of continuity that they give us are the foundation of everything we're going to do in our calculus class. Let's start by looking at defining this thing called the limit. If we want a definition, we could say that the limit is the output, the function, gets close to. So it doesn't necessarily mean what the function equals. It's just what the function is close to at that point. And the notation we're going to use for that is we're going to use the LIM. And underneath it, we'll do x with an arrow to some number of our function is going to equal the answer, the limit. The way that is read, it is the limit as x goes to a, or whatever the number is, of f of x equals l, the limit. So as we're trying to figure out what it gets close to, Let's take a look at an example that really shows the function is getting close to a number. A good way to look at that is with a table of values. Let's say we want to evaluate the limit as x goes to 4 of x squared minus 16 over x minus 4. We want to know what this gets close to as the x gets close to 4. Well, to test that, we can make a table of x values and f of x values that are getting closer and closer to the 4. A little bit less than 4 would be 3.9. But let's get even closer than that, maybe 3.99. Or we could get even closer than that, 3.999. And we don't have to just come in from the left side. We can also come in from the right side as well. 4.1 is close to 4. But 4.01 is even closer. And 4.001 is even closer. So what's the function doing at each of those points? We can do all of this really quickly on our calculator if we hit the y equals button and type in the function we're interested in. Remember, I need parentheses around the numerator as I say x squared minus 16. Close the parentheses of the numerator divided by the x minus 4 and close the parentheses. We're going to tell the calculator that we want to determine the independent variable. So we're going to hit second and the button for table set. We want to make sure the independent variable says ask. If auto is highlighted, switch it over to ask and hit enter. Since my ask is highlighted, I'm going to go to my table with second table. Now in x, I can enter in my x values of 3.9, 3.99, and 3.999. Notice the answers I got are 7.9, 7.99, and 7.999. That looks like it's getting closer and closer to a value. But let's look at what's happening on the other side. The other side is 4.1, 4.01, and 4.001. My outputs are 8.1, 8.01, and 8.001. I'll notice these values on the left side are getting closer and closer to 8, and on the right side are getting closer and closer to 8. That tells me that the limit as x goes to 4 of x squared minus 16 over x minus 4 is equal to that value of 8. Because x gets closer and closer to 4, the function is getting closer and closer to 8. That's our limit. In our next video, we're going to take a look at how a graph can help us calculate these limits.